In this video we're just going to show you a quick tutorial on how to port forward a router. In this particular example we're using an ASUS router. Depending on your router you're going to want to go to portforward.com to learn more about how to port forward it. But this video should give you a brief overview of how to port forward a router. So first I'm going to open up my web browser. I'm just going to use Google Chrome in this example. I'm going to go ahead and type in the IP address for my router. We cover how to find out what the IP address for your router is in another video. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. It's going to point me to my router's web interface. I'm going to go log in to my router using the username and password I've set up on my router. Now again, this tutorial is not a tutorial on how to set up a router, so you want to consult with your router's manufacturer to learn how to set your router up. Now, in order to get to the port forwarding settings, you're going to go under advanced setting, and depending on your router, it's usually going to be found under firewall or the WAN setting. For this particular ASUS router, it's found under the advanced settings and WAN. You're wanna, going to want to find the virtual server or port forwarding tab or page in your router. So I'm going to click the tab here. Here we can see that I first need to enable port forwarding under the basic config. And down here I can see the port forwarding list where I can create rules. So first I'm going to create a camera web rule. The source target is going to be whatever computer I want in my network or outside of my network to access this camera. I want any IPs like my cell phone or laptop to be able to access this camera. So I'm going to leave this blank. And then for the web port, it's port 80. And then on the local IP, I can type in the IP address for my camera. It just so happens to be the default 192.168.1. 108 and then the local port is port 80 so I can click the add button to add that rule it allows me to create another rule which I need to create the data rule so I'm going to do camera data and keep in mind these can be done for DVRs as well using the same ports however if you have multiple devices on your network that you'd like to port forward you will want to make sure that you use different ports and also set those ports differently on the device themselves. And again, I want this to be accessible from any computer, so I'm going to leave the source target blank. And the data port happens to be 3 quadruple 7, so 37777. Again, the local IP is the same because it's the same camera, 192.168.1.108. And then again, the local port is 3. 7777. So I can hit the plus button to add this. And I click the apply button. The router is going to apply my settings. It says complete. It's going to refresh the page. I can see my rules are placed there. Port forwarding is enabled. So now I'm going to go ahead and test my port forwarding rules. So I'm going to open a new tab in Google Chrome. I'm going to type ugetsignal.com. Then you can see here there's a port forwarding tester tool. And I'm going to check on port number 80. It says port 80 is open on my external IP address, which is the IP address that's given to me by my internet service provider. And of course, I want to check the data port as well. And I can see that port quadruple se 3 quadruple 7 is also open on my external IP address. Hopefully this video helps give you an overview of how to port forward a router. Thank you for watching.